Today I'm going to show you how to add a little flair to your lower third titles quickly and easily using the Text Plus tool. I've got my basic project open here and my Text Plus already set for my text. In this case, I've used the layout options to align the text to the lower left and position the Text Plus centered to the corner of my safe title area. The first thing I'd like to do is to add a little outline to the text to help separate it from the background. I do this by going under the Shading tab selecting Element 2. Once I check the Enabled checkbox, you see the red outline appear. A little modification from the default red in this case will help the end result. I'll choose a black outline and set the thickness to something a little more appropriate. Next, I'll move over to Element 3, which defaults to a nice drop shadow. I'll leave these settings at the default values. Finally, I'll enable the fourth element, which defaults to a blue backdrop for each letter. With a little adjustment, we can set up a nice backdrop for our text without having to add another layer to our composition. Let's set the backdrop to be behind the whole line rather than each character. Let's also use the extend settings to pad this out a little to tie the element into the frame of the video. We can also use the softness settings here to help soften the hard edge on the tail. Dragging the slider up to the maximum still isn't quite what I'm looking for, so I'll increase it further. Like most tools in Fusion, if you hit the slider maximum, you can always increase this value further by typing in a larger number. This will reset the scale of the slider and let us adjust the values accordingly. The blue backdrop just isn't working for the theme of this footage I have here, so let's jazz it up a little. One of the methods we can use to do this would be to alter the solid color for a gradient. Just click the gradient option here and adjust the desired colors. In this case, a nice fire orange to red theme. Setting the mapping level to line allows us to see the whole gradient and we can adjust the mapping angle for a left to right versus top to bottom look. Now if we want to take it to the next level, we can change the shading type from gradient to image. In this case, I have some nice stock footage of some flames I can substitute in. Setting the mapping level to full image sets the lower third to what I had in mind, and offers up some real eye candy to the titles and lower thirds in this project. As a final touch to the piece, I'm going to drop in a shadow tool here to help separate the title from the video backdrop. Hopefully this will encourage you to experiment with some of the features and settings of the Text Plus tool on your next project.